Okay, this is a look at the Klinger home and all of its grandeur. This is the actual door. We're walking in. The first thing you'll see would be the panel, which would be your uh, alarm panel and your lighting system, along with a volume control for the entry area, which is up top outside. I don't know if you can see it or not. Anyway, it's up there. Um, through here we go into the dining room. The dining room has a sub section for sound. It subs off of the kitchen uh, breakfast area. So when they do want to have music in that area, they may. This is the large grand room. As you can see, it's quite large. Very nice, very formal. Not much sound going on in here, mainly meetings, talk, that sort of thing. This is the, the wall of that same dining room. This is a hallway. And to my immediate left from there is the main control. I've walked by a control, I'm sorry. This control here is for that uh, formal living room, that living space, uh, which will provide uh, fan control, fan control, and lighting control. Uh, this is the panel that we designed um, and installed. This uses a VIO uh, Elon uh, panel, um, as well with the Leviton switches. We've uh, created this by fashioning a, a, double, a triple, excuse me, um, Decora panel. Uh, and then allowed us to, to do all of the controls. The controls allow us to control shades, uh, the way it sounds, the way it works, any of that from this panel. I could turn the tuner on, and with that, you have music. Turn it down. And this again would sub off of that, uh, that room, the dining room, uh, if you wanted music in that area. Um, if we wanted to go to television, we'd simply go to satellite. I've got a setup as satellite two. There are three receivers in this system. Uh, so at this point, all I would do at, uh, is hit satellite. It'll bring up the satellite. And with that, we can actually go to the different pages that are on satellite, which I've put in for favorites. I don't know if you can see it very well or not, but it allows you to go to Fox, NBC, Discovery. Uh, Nickelodeon, all of those I've installed, Oxygen, and then we have the Sirius radio uh, through satellite. So if I wanted to go to highway, it'll bring up the highway s system. There it is. That's highway Sirius on uh, the satellite. Go back to source. Uh, on the door, I'm going to change the shades on the door by hitting the shades on the door and then hit the down position. And once I do that, they move down. You can see them coming down. I can do that with any of the shades in the room. And stop that, move it back up. I'm just touching it here. Let's go to the, the other shades here. Let's do all. And we can close all by hitting the down button. Like that. Okay, and then with the shades, if we hit down, same thing, control that, stop, bring them back up, and we're good. That's how that works. There's an extra satellite input if you wanted to go to any of the others. I've got the DVR so you can watch the DVR go to the DVD player, that sort of thing. Anyway, uh, now the lighting system is directly associated. We utilized uh, remote control capability with that, and also with the Leviton, um, we set up scenes. So if we hit this first scene, <clears throat> it sets up the lighting to that scene. Then if we hit it again, it turns it off. So if we hit it on, that scene shows up. If I want it off, I just hit it again, and it shuts it off. I can dim or uh, increase or decrease that scene if it's a little too bright. Multiple scenes so we can put in for entertaining, standard lighting, all of that sort of thing, however you want to set this up on your four buttons. <clears throat> anyway, the sound is uh, in this room as well, in the breakfast nook. And this is the, uh, the kitchen area, as you see. 
uh, where you can actually see over the kitchen, which is really nice, and see the actual television that's on the wall there uh, with a frame. Um, these sh shutters and shades actually work off the same system, so they're programmed into it. It has its own panel in this room. <coughs> this room is over here on this wall, same situation, uh, where you can control it. I can shut it down by hitting zone off. We can kick it on, and we're good to go. <coughs> uh, walking up the stairway, outside we have patio speakers. I miss those. Uh, let's see, I'm going to walk up that so you can see how we did it in the other rooms. I'm going to turn this off real quick. We also set it up so that the remote control will take care of it. So I can turn it on and off from remote control. <clears throat> we don't have to go to the touch panel. Touch panel is very nice though because it gives you multiple control and anybody can use it without having to find the remote control. This uh, is uh, the guest room here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, guest room is on lighting control and as well has the uh, the system control. System control is here, lighting control and fan control. So all of it is done on these panels which look really clean when that's all you have on the wall. <clears throat> control also from remote control. Um, with the remote control I can simply sit, hit satellite 3 and this one uses the third satellite receiver. It turns the panel on. As you see it turned the panel on. It controls the volume. Thanks for your help. Excuse me. What time is it? It's time And then uh, we can also shut her down from there. Uh, with that, we also made it so that you can actually do the lights. So we could turn the lights off in here from that. So just like that. All right, uh, let's go over to here. This is the, the mainframe. Uh, this has the theater room, which it's pretty, pretty large. It's, um, it's a great space here. Um, control as well on this area here. So we have the control on this. Set up for movie watching, so we could actually hit this button. And then all the shades, as you can see, will go up and stop it bring them back down, um, or I can use them as a shade. If I go to source, I can go to each individual one that I've set up, or use it as just shades. So we can turn the movie off and use a shade. So um, I've got them shut down now because it takes all the light out. Uh, this is going to be a bar area here. It's kind of empty right now, but it will be a bar. There's plenty of sections that we put televisions in every corner. Um, working off of this panel, which is in the corner over here. It's kind of hard to see, I'm sure. Uh, there's not much lighting right there. Um, this is the main theater room, though. As you see, we did a THX system. Um, we set it up so that um, 8.1, and we've got uh, a separate subwoofer. Uh, main control uh, is all from remote control on this system. In here is our main frame. This is uh, designed and built by Audio Einsteins. And there you go. That handles all the Elan product, handles all the receivers, uh, DVR, um, the, the main uh, theater room, and the uh, living room. Uh, I'll use this Key Digital, Elan, uh, Onkyo, Dish Network, and uh, basic other, other devices and source material. Uh, this one also, the system in here also uses remote control lighting done by the single source controller. And uh, upstairs, let's take a quick tour upstairs. This is the, uh, from looking up, you can see outside, very nicely done. The chandelier fits right in the middle. There's another one right here. <clears throat> We're looking down, down in this area. If you look across, you see the, the grand window. You can see the foothills and the, 
the line area out there. And let's go out here. This is uh, next room. This is uh, one of the children's room. Well, it, well decorated, sound, same kind of control for the shades and for the uh, sound as well. Second room, same thing. Shades and whatnot. Controlled all from a touch. So all you have is this control which controls light and your fan and then this control which controls shade, sound, video, all of that. So last room coming up. We do have the garage but I won't show you that. It's a large um, six car garage with uh, another added space and that has its own control as well. This one in here, this is the bathroom, very nicely done. Nice appointments. In this bathroom, we have the control here, so we can do wall control. It handles the shades as well. The shades are done from the wall control. Um, also has, this one has multiple switches. We kind of got rid of that mostly downstairs. Very few uh, switches you'll see downstairs, but upstairs they went with a conventional standard style. Uh, here again, it's the control for all the audio video. Also works by remote control. We flush this one inside, this, this hole here. Uh, there's the remote and the entire tub system and area. Those shades are really cool. They're in a V. They come down so you can see that just straight through. Really nice. The shades work very nicely. This one has a drape curtain. So uh, we set this one up a little bit different. This is their master. As you can see, the appointments are really nice as well. Uh, simple on the, it's the style of the television, kind of just on the wall, nothing showing. All controlled by remote control or wall control. Wall control setups for the drapes. We can do the drapes separate or we can do the shears. The shears are separate from the drapes, which is really nice. So if they want to open the shears or shut the shears or not changing the drapes, the drapes close it to dark. 30. <laughs> so there you go. Um, we can also control again all the satellite controls, uh, tuner, iPod, all of that can be done here. So set it up for drapes. This is the uh, remote control and as you can see it's there. Uh, if I want to set up and hit, uh, uh, let's turn the system off. So I just hit watch and then off. Everything should shut down. And there, there it is. Everything's down. So if we wanted to watch satellite, simply hit satellite 2. It all fires up, brings it up to the room, and you have full control. Uh, you can control your lighting at that point, decide what you want, and uh, adjust as needed. Uh, there's a wall switch here for the hallway, so we have speakers in the hall if uh, they desire to have sound in the hall. It subs off the main room, that, uh, main bedroom. So that is the Klinger home. And... Uh, very thrilled with it. They're very happy with it. Uh, we've got a few things that um, we would have changed in the build. One would be uh, the space for working on the project. The mainframe, uh, I'm going to open, turn on some lights right in here because I want to show you something. And that is the mainframe on the back side in the closet that I'm going into now has a space that we work in and that's it. Uh, to give you an idea, I have to crawl through that space, and that's how big it is um, to work in. And so um, it's vented, and it's clean. It looks great, but again, it's it's really tight. So we have to get inside there quite often, and it's pretty tough. But uh, that's other than that, the build went great. The work is great. <clears throat> We're really pleased with it. So from Audio Einstein's to you guys. I want to say thank you and until the next one.